Our next talk in this session will be on Tynacan project, experiences and results of using WordPress to develop a digital library software by Professor Dalton Martins. Professor Martins is with the Information Management course and Postgres program in Communication PPGCom of the Faculty of Information and Communication of the Federal University of Guayas. He holds a degree in Electrical Engineering and Masters in Engineering Computing by the State University of Campinas, as well as a PhD in Information Sciences from the University of Sao Paulo. He is working on the theme of mapping, structure analysis, dynamics of social networks in the distributed digital environment. In his presentation, he will enlighten us in detail about the Tinygan project and the experience of using his team of using WordPress to develop it. Welcome, Professor Martins. Thank you. And it's a pleasure to be here. If Professor Das said he was nervous, could you imagine me? <laughs> but here we go. Uh, first of all, I'd like to uh, thank you, Jill, and the organizers of this event to invite us to present Tainakan Project here in India. It's a pleasure to be in India. It's my first time in India. And I have with me my colleague, Leonardo. He sits uh, above there. And if you have some questions and interesting in discussions about Taina Khan, he is uh, the head of our development team and we could discuss together with you. So here we go. Uh, this is our team and you can see uh, there the Media Lab building where we, are, we, where we work at the Federal University uh, of Goiás. Uh, it's important to say that this uh, lab is one of the most important uh, media interactive research lab in our country. So uh, we have many researchers and many kinds of projects, but mainly based on media interactive. And Taina Khan, and this is our team, uh, is one of the projects inside Media Lab. So, uh, it's to understand Taina Khan and to understand our uh, choose about software technology. It's important to understand the scenario in Brazil about digital collections. And uh, we have three main key points to understand digital culture uh, in Brazil. We are a very big country. Uh, we, are, we have many people, very diversity of culture many manifestations and theater, uh, cinema, music, uh, and whatever. And we have a large number of cultural institutions, and they have many, many structural problems. For example, we have more than 6,000 public libraries in Brazil, more than 3,000 museums. And just to show you a, a, a small kind of problem that we have, only 66% of these museums use some kind of information system for catalog items. Uh, if, I'm not saying digital repositories, you know, it's internal systems. Digital repositories, we have a small portion of this kind of museums. By the other way, uh, we have a very, very strong use of social media in Brazil. Many people use solutions like Flickr, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, uh, to publish digital information, and not just uh, common and usual digital information, but by the memorial institutions use this kind of social media to publish, to, to publish some content. And we need to discuss with them how to share information with social media. It's a, an important question for us. And we have 66% of internet penetration in the population, and we are, we are following the We Are Social uh, research in 2017. We are the second in the world by time spent on the internet, almost five hours per day uh, in media. So, uh, since 2014, you know that 
we are in Brazil changing uh, lots of problems in political government. We have some move, important movements there. But uh, in 2014, the Ministry of Culture and the Brazilian Institute of Museum has been developing a national policy for digital collections. It's important to say that because it's an initiative from the government with three main objectives. Uh, first of all, to provide a simple tool. It's very important for us to uh, help this, those institutions and independent groups to publish data because they have many difficulties in doing that. So, provide a simple tool to do what? Organize digital repositories, facilitating connection with social media. I will show you some examples uh, in using that uh, correlated with social media and including the same network, not just the memorial institutions, but the civil society. We have many, many important uh, cultural movements that are not related with official institutions. So it's important to build a network considering those institutions. And uh, another thing is to create the websites of the institutions and the organized group. They have many difficulties. Uh, to create their own websites, to choose this technology, and if we can, we, we can put this together on the same tool, this could be uh, something very useful for us in Brazil. And the third objective of the simple tool is to facilitate the construction of the digital exhibitions, how you can remix the digital content to create dynamic web pages for digital exhibitions uh, in a easy way. Uh, the second point is to integrate the different repositories in different formats and provide an integrated search engine. Uh, it's important to say we don't have to choose uh, only one metadata format. We are trying to develop this network using different formats and aggregate that in a dynamic way. And the third point is to develop a governance model based on principles of collective intelligence to include institutions of memory and civil society. We need to put the society together to build this public policy with us. What is not an easy question. So, uh, the first question for us was which software to choose to encourage online participation and publication. And uh, uh, we began our research in 2014 to 2015. And uh, we made uh, a research, a review research. We collected papers from the scientific literature about uh, digital collections, digital repositories, digital libraries. And putting all those papers together and analyzing them, uh, we have found 200 features which a uh, software for digital repositories should have. And considering these 200 features, we found uh, 36 features directed with collaboration and social interaction. So, uh, we have a study with the, those open source softwares that you can see on the image here, Greenstone, Islandora, Eprint, DSpace, and Fedora. And we found that the best of uh, those uh, considering collaboration, social interaction features was this space, but it served only 14%. It uh, was a, a very small a portion of these features of collaboration in network, which is a very, very important a feature for us. We have the, the results of the, this paper published in, in their link above. Uh, unfortunately, uh, just in Portuguese, but you can translate if it is interesting for you. So, uh, the question was, uh, what's the best strategy to develop a free platform for digital repositories in Brazil, considering the scenario that I show you? And we choose WordPress. I know that WordPress was not an easy uh, choice for doing digital repositories, but I will show you why we have done that. Uh, but we, won't, we use not only WordPress, we use a, a broad ecology of other technologies that I will show you in our conceptual model and to create a network of digital collections in Brazil.
So let's see what's the benefits of using WordPress. Why use WordPress? Uh, it's important to say that Tynacan is like a WordPress plugin, so you can connect our plugin uh, in our normal uh, instance of WordPress. And we're considering four dimensions here in which WordPress stands out as a good solution for our scenario. And first of all, we are not developing uh, just for the managers. This is important to say. We're developing uh, for the users, the developers, the managers, and we are trying to develop a kind of solution that the non-specialists could customize uh, Taina Khan to build repositories. And uh, we want low-skilled technicians to customize it. it. It needs to be simple to develop the technology. So with uh, WordPress, uh, we have these four dimensions, users, apps, developers, and public. And if you look at developers, uh, an advantage of using WordPress is it's easy to deploy, it's easy to create and customize them using widespread technology. And we don't have, for example, in Brazil, developers that know very well how to use this space. And if, if you choose this space, for example, to create a Brazilian community, we need to begin from the zero point. And uh, using WordPress, we have uh, many, many developers, uh, very good, very well. Uh, they know very well how to develop in using WordPress. So uh, if you choose using WordPress to develop apps, it exposes data in several formats. They have a, a WordPress has a, a REST API from the native code. It imports from the several formats, including social networks. So it's really easy to connect WordPress with social networks to collect uh, content and to publish content to export in several formats. For the users, it's easy to use flexibility of metadata and presentation. And it's really uh, easy to create beautiful collections and exhibitions, virtual exhibitions, social networks, and those things. So this is why we have choose WordPress. Here, uh, I will show you our conceptual model, how we put this whole ecology of technologies together to create our model. In the first layer, we have here Tainakan based on WordPress. It's important to say that for us, Tainakan, we see Tainakan just as a software publication and organization data. And it's flexible to develop a metadata schema. So it's important to say that uh, when you install Tainakan, you can develop your own metadata schema. So you can share different schemas and exports data in different formats. The zero layer for us is social media, not only social media, but other tools, other digital uh, libraries, digital repositories, and, and even data uh, in formats like files, whatever. And they are the sources of the, our digital information. And the most important for us is in social media, we have spaces of collaboration and social interaction. So people publish content, curated content using this kind of tool, and then can organize and publish data using Tainakan to organize, which is a mass in social media. Second, we use Elasticsearch, uh, which is very important to say that it scales WordPress. So if, if we have some kind of limitation using the WordPress database, Elasticsearch, help us to do that. And it optimizes search and return results in Tainaka instance. So we use Slack search uh, together with each repository using Tainaka. And uh, inside this third layer, we have the integrated search based on Elasticsearch, search. And we have something that we'll show you in more details at the final. We, have our, we, we are using an WordPress plugin called Gutenberg that is really cool to create digital exhibitions uh, in an easy way. And final, we have here a layer for machine learning. And it's important, this layer, because we can use the structured data uh, provided in Tainakan to training algorithms using connection with Elasticsearch 2. 
and to create some uh, special functionalities. For example, a classification plugin for Facebook images inside the Tamakti uh, fan page, for example, or uh, generate automatically metadata uh, to put inside a Tenacan collection. So here I can show you some examples uh, using Tainacan. This is uh, one of the most important for us right now. This is Museum, Museu do Índio. It's an indigenous museum in Brazil, uh, the most important. And they collect uh, artifacts, uh, painters from the Indian people in our country. So uh, here you have the, the links if you want to show better. And here you can see uh, inside a collection. So we have the facet navigation menus based on the metadata fields and the, the areas to share information uh, in social media. It's like a, a typical organization uh, screen. Uh, the second one is Film and Culture magazine, which is a very, very important magazine in Brazil, uh, which tells the history of our cinema. And we have numbers from the 60s to nowadays. And so here you can see uh, the home page in a completely different format uh, from the other, how they organize information, the, the puts it's uh, developed based in WordPress and Tineca. Uh Here you can see two different issues of the magazine. And it's important to say because uh, the metadata of these issues have changed several times over the decades because the journal structure has changed. So how we can represent that using only one uh, kind of template? We are trying to create different templates for the same uh, magazine, consider the different issues and to put all together on the same database. Uh, here is a, an important example. Uh, which is called BB Flora Community. Uh, here you can see a Facebook page. We have here 26,000 people that use this fan page uh, to recognize plants. So people publish a picture and they discuss about uh, what, which plant is related with that picture. Uh, it's a, a very intense dynamics of discussion. They have specialists here, they have uh, Amateurs here, they have you know, many thousand people. So they discuss, and at the final discussion, uh, they have a, a, a compression of that image. Uh, so they are using, after the discussion in Facebook, they are using Taina Khan to organize the content that they discuss using Facebook. And so it's important to say that they are using Taina Khan uh, like a information organization and to support the formalization of the knowledge that the group produces. So uh, it's really uh, fun to discuss on Facebook, but, but we know that Facebook is not a good tool to make a search and, and organize content, and they use Tainakan Connected uh, to organize their content. So it, it's a, a kind of example that we need to enforce in our public policy uh, in Brazil. So I'm just finishing. Here you can see the integrated search using Elasticsearch. So we put together here the different repositories from different URLs. And you can make a search here. And the results here, and sorry, but the image is not so good. But when you look at the results, we can show you uh, from which repositories that digital object came, from which collections, and we can describe exactly from which metadata field this object came. So you can understand the semantics of the result looking for uh, the solution. And finally, uh, we are using this. Uh, it's a, an example of Gutenberg plugin for WordPress. So here you can say uh, um, a home page, a simple uh, home page, but you can use this plugin to export content from different collections and from different repositories on the internet to create a, a, a blog, for example, or a dynamic uh, statical or a dynamic or a statical page on the internet and remixing the digital content uh, over the network. So it's a very simple to use. 
uh, maybe I don't have time. I, I have how many minutes? Yeah, yeah, it's finished. No, no, no problem. But here in the YouTube link, uh, if you are interested, we made a, a small video, two minutes, showing how to create this uh, digital exhibitions using Tynacan and uh, Gutenberg plugin. So uh, that's it. Here you can see my contacts. Uh, there you can see the Tynacan code. Uh, we use GitHub, so all the information are there. And there we have a website with some information in English. It's not completely in English, but some information in English. And you can see some much more information about Tynacan project. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you, Professor Martins. Uh, can we have uh, one or two few quick questions? So, uh, uh, you talked about uh, the migrating metadata of different magazines and over issues. So, uh, are, are, the, are these to be manually handled or? Uh, you look for certain automation to do that over the issues because there's a big 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 challenge in that way yeah we, we are researching that because uh, we have many questions that we don't know uh, and we are trying to research solutions to automatize that but this uh, magazine it, it was uh, something in minister of culture that was uh, like lost, like a lost collection inside the ministry. They have an urgency to put that online. So we study uh, all the issues and we develop a metadata format for the, all the issues, some common fields, but some different. And the fact is, if we want to scale that, we need to use some kind of solution, but we, we don't know exactly how to resolve that. Thank you. Can we have? Um, hi, uh, oh. do you mind? <laughs> yeah, um, please. I just, uh, because you know I'm a big fan of Tynacan, um, and I'm a big fan because it starts very much from the user base, so it's, it's not a top-down solution, which was referred to earlier. Can you tell us anything about how users are responding? So now you've got some things up. You've got the Indian one, you've got the Biblioflora one, what 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 are the results of it? Uh, so it's for us it's it's like uh, surprising <laughs> when we talk, even with the specialists. For example, in Museu do Índio, uh, we made uh, a meeting with uh, uh, librarians, archivists, and museologists. And they, they, they have the same problems to use those softwares, even open source softwares like Atom, uh, Archivematica, and the Space. Uh, they have problems to customize that because the software is really good, but we don't have exactly uh, the technical skills to customize. So when they see Tainakan and the way to configure the, in the administrative area, it's really simple. It's like uh, create a, a website using WordPress, a, a, a little bit of more one, one, two, three features. But when the users uh, see that, like BB Flora community, for them it's a, a kind of gift because they are they were using uh, Facebook, and they had many many problems using Facebook because they are trying, to, uh, for example. Uh, to search for an information that they have discussed uh, last month. It's almost impossible to find that on Facebook in a good way. So when using Tainakan, for them, it's a, a really huge step. So they like the interface uh, because in WordPress, it's so simple to create dynamic and, and very diverse of kind of interface. And it's easy, and we, we, we are researching that, we are collecting data from the users, every kind of uh, small course that we make, we collect information from them, and the, 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 the answers for us are cool, it, it works for us, it makes sense. Thank you, Martin. 
So, uh, Martin, please, we have a small memento for you.